Hey guys, welcome to today's video. If you are new here, I'm Jamie B. Thanks for stopping by. If you're already subscribed, then welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to be finally starting my eyeshadow throwback series. I have mentioned several times. So for the first episode, it will be on the Modern Renaissance ABH palette. I did this whole look with this palette. This palette actually won between two different palettes and I will get into that in the video. If you're interested in how I got this look, just make sure you go ahead and keep watching. All right, so um, I am going to be using the Modern Renaissance palette by ABH today. The reason that I am doing this is because I have mentioned in several videos that I'm going to be doing a throwback palette series where I will be using eyeshadow palettes that you already have in your collection. So that meaning that they are not new. They can be as new as just came out like the beginning of this year or further back. However, it will not be newer palettes. So if a new palette comes out, it will obviously not be in this series, but I will always review new stuff. I just want to start kind of going into my older stuff and giving you guys more looks because I feel like once um, influencers review a palette or use a palette, that's kind of the end of it. And then it's like you guys are left with, okay, well now I have one look I can do where if I go back, then you're getting several. So today I'm going to be doing my look with that. But um, this one was the winner of this and the Desert Dust palette by Huda Beauty. I put it on my community tab and I also put it on my Instagram. So make sure you're following those so you can um, choose which one you would prefer to get a look from. Because if you don't have one but you have the other, then you obviously want to see that. But this one was the winner of both Instagram and YouTube. So that's the one we're doing. ta -da. Okay, and I'm going to be going in with my Drunk Elephant, and this is the Virgin Marula Oil, just to give some hydration to my face before we start. My skin has been so dry and crazy because of the weather and like the change of my hormones after giving birth, so bear with me. All right, so obviously you can tell I have had this palette for quite a while and it has been thoroughly used. I do have to say I haven't used it in quite a while, but I'm gonna be using it today. So I'm gonna be going in, I think the first color I'm gonna go in is gonna be Burnt Orange. I haven't really decided what look I'm gonna be doing, but we'll get there. Um, I will tell you, along with most ABH palettes, this one it has a little bit of fallout, so you just have to be mindful of that when you're doing your makeup because then you're gonna get it everywhere. So I am just going and blending this in the crease and up a little bit to my brow bone as the transition shade. All right, so now I'm gonna take a bit of a smaller, pointier crease brush, and I think I'm gonna go into this a little bit more of a red, orangey. It does have like a hint of brown in it. This is Red Ochre, again with the fallout. And I'm just going to place that on my outer corner and work that into the crease. And I think I'm going to actually Put it on the inner corner as well and make it almost like a halo look almost it will be i don't know that i care for that brush so it doesn't give me as like reddish vibes which is good because i didn't really want like a cranberry maroon look because i have already done so many of those i'm trying to do like more of a brownish look Okay, so now that I have placed that red ochre in there, I am going to go lightly back in with burnt orange and just try to smoke out just a little bit more of what I just placed down. Alright, so now I'm going to take a flat brush and I'm going to go ahead in here with tempera and I'm going to just put it right under my brow bone and also just smooth out that burnt orange. Okay, so now that I have that down, I think I'm going to go ahead into a plain blending brush and try to just blend it out a little bit more. So I'm taking a blending brush that nothing is on and I'm just kind of blending it just a little bit. I'm going to get my concealer. I'm going in with the ColourPop No Filter Concealer in Medium 22. And I'm going to place it where I did not put that shadow so I can put a shimmer there. I 
Alright, so now that I have put the concealer there, and it's okay if it's not really even even, because you want to try to get this as even as possible, but you can always blend shadow over it, so it's not too concerning if you can't. Alright, so I'm going to actually take a Morphe M167, and I'm going to spritz it with some setting spray. And then I'm going to go in with Primavera, which is just this shimmery light gold. And I'm going to place it right over that concealer. So it's definitely not as pigmented as I would have hoped it would have been. Or like a little bit brighter in color. But it is pretty for like just a subtle look. Right, so I'm going to go back in with this color right here, and I'm just going to tap off so it's not a lot. And I'm going to try to blend those edges out. So the reason you do that is that way when you open it, it's just not as harsh of a line. Like if you look here, this looks like it's just like, but this one is a little more blended. So now that we have blended that out, I'm going to take my finger into Primavera one more time and just go right on the center to make it just stand out just a tad bit. All right, so now that we've done that, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna skip to our face makeup and then continue with the under eye. So today I'm gonna be using the Tatcha, the Silk Canvas. This is just like basically a trial size, but I've had it for a while and literally had no issues. Like I still have so much in here, it's not even funny. I'm going to put that all over my face. And now that I look like a ghost, look at me. Like, ugh. Let go. All right, we're going to go into my foundation, which is going to be the uh, Milk Makeup Matte Foundation. This is Blur Liquid. And I am the shade Golden Sand. It's actually one of my favorite foundations. So. <laughs> So I do believe that this foundation is actually a bit light for me, but, but in the winter time I usually get a little more fair, so that is why I'm using it. Alright, so now I'm going to go in with my concealer, and I'm going to be using that medium 22 from ColourPop that I used to do the lid of my makeup. and just blend it out. I really, really like this concealer because I feel like it gives me enough coverage, but at the same time, it's super buildable. Like, if you only want a little, you can do a little, but if you want, like, full boom glam coverage, then you can build it up for that as well. And it's also only $6. I actually only paid $3.25 this one because my Ulta had it on clearance I don't know why I don't know if they're like kind of getting rid of ColourPop altogether or they're just getting rid of um ColourPop concealer or maybe it's like they're coming out with a newer one I don't know if you know let me know below okay so now that I'm done the concealer part before I set it I want to go ahead in and do my contour area and this time I'm going to be using the deep dark shade from ColourPop's concealer and just do that instead of my stick <laughs> I just find that the cream and like colored conceal darker concealers blend a lot better than the stick foundations do so all right so now I'm gonna go in now that I've laid down my cream contour I'm just going to go in here and set the concealer that I've laid down. And I'm using the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. And also, I got concealer on my shirt. So, that's fantastic. <laughs> Not having a good day. Alright, so now I'm going to go in with my bronzer. And this is just the Wet n Wild bronzer in the shade... Queensland and this I believe and I want to say was a Halloween one 
but it was one that I was like really it's so good and it cost me like three dollars I'm not even kidding okay so now that we did the foundation and all the cream stuff I put my hair back down but I'm gonna go into blush now and I'm going to be using the NARS orgasm blush and I guess I should get my hair up because I have to put my blush on <laughs> Oh, all right, and I am using the Jeffree Star JS2 brush today. I'm just gonna put on some blush. All right, so now that I have my blush applied, I'm gonna go ahead in with highlighter, and I'm gonna be using the Becca highlighter, and this is in the shade Rose Quartz. This is an older one. It was like a limited edition one that they came out with. It's just like a pinky rose gold. I love Becca highlighters. They're so pretty. Ooh. Okay, and now real quick before I do my under, I am going to set that just so, like I did before, it just stays nice. All right, so we're going to skip back to my eyes, and then we will do my lips. So I'm going to be using the same colors and then just smoke it out underneath. So the first color I'm going to be going in with a pencil brush is going to be burnt orange. And I'm just going to line that like this. I'm going to bring it down just a little because I'll be going back in with that red orca as well. All right, and now I'm going to go in with the red orca, but I'm going to go in with a blending brush just so it's not so harsh. Also, this palette has a lot of fallout. I thought it was just a little, but it's kind of a lot. Like, it's kind of getting all over my desk and all over my brushes. Like, my makeup brushes that are down here. It doesn't give you a lot of fallout on the face or the eyes, so that's really good, but, like, it's getting all over my table, which has, like, all my other makeup on it. Now that I have that down, I'm going to go into my inner corner. I'm actually going to use the Becca highlighter because I don't want to put the same color that I have on that inner, um, on my lid. I just want it to be a little bit different and pop a little bit more. So I'm going to go in with the rose quartz. All right, so we're just going to pop this right on the inner corner just to give us a little shimmer shimmer. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and put my lashes on and then I'll be right back. All right, so I went ahead, um, I put my lashes and my mascara on, and I also did some tight lining and water lining with a eyeliner, and I used a super old one that I have because I don't do a lot of eyeliner, and this is the Lord & Berry. I got this literally in a BoxyCharm, like, years ago, and this is number 221, dark black, and literally, it's the best pencil liner I've ever used, so I will tell you that. Alright, so the last bit to this look is going to be my lipstick, and I'm going to use this shade Y2K in ColourPop's Velvet Blur lipsticks. So I will go ahead and do that because I think that will look really pretty with this look. So I think that is like a really, really pretty color to go with the kind of like brown orangey gold vibe we have going on so i'm gonna go ahead and zoom you guys out and then we'll give you my final thoughts on whether or not i'm going to be keeping the modern renaissance palette so in this video i've gotten my hair doesn't want to stay the way i want it to i got concealer on my shirt it's a fantastic time all right guys so i think this look turned out like super awesome um it was an easy to use palette i feel like you don't really have a lot of options because it's kind of like brown, orangish, maroon, and that's kind of it. You're only given two shimmers, which are these two right here. So I don't think that there's anything wrong with this palette. I'm definitely going to be keeping it because it is one of my favorite. It's easy to use. The hugest negative that I have about this palette is I forgot how much fallout there is. It's all over my desk, like crazy all over it's all over my concealer my primer it's just everywhere so i just wish that that was something that they fix in the future palettes but as we have seen they have not because there's a lot of them that have a lot of fallout however i think that this palette has it's tried and true it has done its job and i will be keeping this in my collection and i think that the look that i did turned out relatively easy 
but also very beautiful and like you could glam it up add some of this darker brown into it make it more smoky so I'm definitely gonna say yes I'll be keeping this palette comment below and let me know if you think that it is a palette that I should keep or maybe pass on also if you guys try this makeup look please 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 as always tag me on any platform that you post it on I love to see the makeup looks you guys either recreate of mine or create of your own with the palette also I want you to comment down below if you have this palette and do you like it or does it just sit and you don't use it so as always guys make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and i will see you on the next one bye